welcome to the search. How is everybody doing today? It is scoldering hot. But guys, I am so excited to say that we just got the pool in a little late starting in the summer of getting it up, but we got it up and I'm down in the South here in the Carolinas. So we definitely will enjoy it for a couple months. But man, I hope everybody is able to stay out of it and only go out when they need to and make sure you're drinking your water. With that being said, guys, we are back with Gypsy and what is surrounding her. Of course, her pregnancy announcement, the registry. But once again, I'm going to give you the Lisa angle on it. Like I did last time, why are we continuing to stand by her side? And when I say that, I think the registry proved my point. So when people want to say, oh, it's the creators that are keeping it going, keeping it going. No, no. Now, is there some that report every single minute and that's just what they do? Hey, that's what they do. And they have that right. I've only done it twice. All right. I just also released two others. Also, thank you for checking out my last video on teen violence. I just covered Bobby Mayhar's story, the 14 year old that was stabbed up in Casper and lost his life. And there's two 15 year olds involved. Go check that video out if you haven't. And there's a fun bath and body work. But let me get back to what I was saying. Take a step back on why I did decide to do this video. Because I sat and thought about it. I was not impulsive. I was very mad when I seen the registry and I already felt the pregnancy was coming. To be honest, I thought that it was going to be somehow wrapped up in the finale. The reason that I kind of thought that was when she was live, she was speaking about the finale coming soon and it's going to be juicy and, you know, like kind of, and of course finales are, okay? But... She had also made the comment because they had already, you know, they've already filmed everything. But she said they had filmed about three weeks ago on something. And I thought, hmm, wonder if somebody has a bun in the oven and they had to come and like film that, her finding out and things like that. I am 11 weeks pregnant. Like I go back to the first video I did. Are we preparing for season two, three, four, whatever? Okay. When I heard she was pregnant and then I found out about the registry and how it was sold out like this. The baby list, Ken and Gypsy's baby registry, as you can see. I'm sure a lot of you have seen, I mean, from Pampers to Munchkin, touch-free baby wipe warmers. Then, guys, guess what? Now that it's all sold out, you can go over to the baby's diaper fund and you can buy cash gift cards, whatever, too. I don't know exactly how that works. I haven't had a baby in 26 years. But then you can buy lots and lots of diapers. I mean, diapers were on the list. But that was the start of it. People had seen once it sold out that she had gone back in to add more items to it. So she tried to debunk of selling out on the registry by making this statement, okay? Hmm. Now, do I believe that? Absolutely no. Absolutely no. Do I think maybe that could have happened? Yeah, of course. I'm sure that there was some that jumped to do that. How can we trust you, Gypsy? You've said so many different things, right? But no, I personally don't believe because also her adding things and no. Also, one thing that really upset me when I had seen things were now all the scamming that's going on. Like there's so much. This, this whole incident has now started a bunch of scamming toxicity on this registry site that was not needed. This is supposed to be a loving, precious time for so many families and women, men. Now it's like there's a thousand gypsy rows. They're just scamming, whatever. It's, it's toxicity. It's bad. Okay. Like I said, when's it going to stop? Because it's going to get worse and worse. And now we're seeing it. 
Now we are seeing what happens and people are starting to mentally get hurt. Now it is starting to get crazy. And when is, when are we going to stop? When is it going to stop? This was the tipper guys, because I think we all have felt that about the registry and stuff. When I was looking on TikTok and I was looking through social media, I see a lot of mamas and all of a sudden so many have really come forward upset. Everyday people, your average bear, nobody's bought them anything. They're working hard. Some are working two jobs, already have a child. They're accepting accountability for their actions. So what I want to know is if you were somebody that decided you want to buy something for someone that has six documentaries, has been estimated to make close to $200,000 or more on TikTok, on YouTube. By the way, you make more on YouTube than you do TikTok. She has a series on television right now. Why? Was it so important that you had to run out and make sure she was well taken care of? But these other people, just these average bears, can't get a lick. Same scenario of why everybody sits and drops gifts on her all night long. Why the next person that's doing something creative isn't receiving much. Guys, this is a reflection of our society and it takes people like her to really show us what's happening out there. And that is why I came on again. Because I'm, I'm trying to get out this reflection. You know the first thing when I seen all this is, what can I do? I don't have a big enough platform. You know, I'm thinking like, you know, she, she had options to get to Kim K and, and to get to other people. That's not who I would choose. But, if it could help all these single moms or mamas and families, not just single moms, mamas with families, anybody, kids, foster children. If I just don't say their name, it's just because you guys get my, I think that you get my point. People that are in need, domestic shelters, anything. somebody that coming out now is already, by the way, estimated earns of a net worth of $3 million. Okay. So my first thought is, what can I do to start something to help these moms that now I'm seeing on TikTok? They're like, I've got a baby registry. This is my story. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. And I'm so angry at the people that, why don't y'all see these people? Why are you glorifying this? There's so many people in need, but yet you choose to go to somebody that has done nothing positive for society, that has spent her whole life in situations of toxic, nasty, some not her fault, a lot now her fault, especially as an adult. Wonder what she's gonna tell her child about the grandma and where she's at. I'm angry, guys. I'm angry. I tried to be a little more subtle on this one. I tried to be more straight to the point. But the reason that I came on was because I see a lot of people now on social media that are just blown away. These people are hurt. These people don't understand. The mental health is being affected because you know what? These people, these are young women that are pregnant, that are trying to make it, trying to figure out why they aren't good enough for somebody to want to give them something, help them in their registry, help them on their Amazon wish list for things like $10 gifts, why they aren't good enough, but somebody coming out of jail for unaliving their mother that has done nothing they said they wanted to do when they got out. I'd repeat myself and keep saying, what is your why? But I don't even think y'all know. I really don't. Not the people that are thinking alike like me but the ones that are standing by her. So what I want you to do is I want you to take that energy. You keep that same energy that you have for her and you spend your money the way you want to. You want to drop it all on her and let her manipulate you and manipulate your feelings and make you feel validated. Go for it. But do me a favor. Since you got all this little extra money spinning around, you know, 
keep that energy and go on somebody on TikToks or on GoFundMes. Go through there. Take that same energy and go and check out these other people that have these lists. And let's try helping some other people. Gypsy Rose, quit trying to think that we're fools. I know there's people that are falling into this, but enough is enough. If I've been saying it, I'm going to continue to say it. The odd thing about this is we watched the show Monday the 8th where she is talking about taking the Plan B pill with Ryan. She has talked about, I'm not fully ready. I'm talking about being a mom. The very next day, you know, she releases she's pregnant with Ken. How ironic, okay? She makes a comment in her statement and her announcement that I don't know if anybody's ready to be a mom. Nah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you know this, but there's a lot of people that are trying so hard and can't seem to get pregnant. There's IVF. Yeah. Because you know people are ready to be moms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, there's that there's that instinct in people. I don't know if you've got that or not, but yeah, there's people that want to to be a mom and they're trying real hard. So the fact that you had made that comment, I thought, wow, it's a little naive, but I guess you're learning. I wish, of course, nothing but a healthy baby, of course, with all this said. I hope so. This is never a child's fault. Ryan, buddy, I don't know what you're going to do, but when you get a chance, buddy, run for the hills. Run and stay on the other side of that hill. I do know in Louisiana, they've got some kind of different laws. I don't know exactly when their divorce will be final, but if they are still married when she has the baby, his name will have to go on the birth certificate. That is one of the laws down in Louisiana. And that's just going to cause a lot of hassles and, well, it will force the DNA, right? So we'll confirm that it is kids, right? So with that note, guys, if you want, give a little to someone that you think needs something. Now that Gypsy has done this, there's a lot of people. And unfortunately, now people are going to be skeptical because they know, they see how easy it is to just pull the wool over people's eyes. But there's a lot. And if I could figure out something to help get a list for these girls together, I am only one person and I am willing to work with other creators. I, I feel like, you know what, there's a lot of us that think alike. And we just want things to just be equal across the board. We're going to keep on it, right? For people, if you are new here, this is different for me. For just talking. I am a talker. I love to talk. I can't wait to get in the lives and pull people up. And we have fun with that. I am getting closer to my goals and starting to see the light. So with that being said, times may be a little different. We always release on Thursday. I think me possibly might be doing Sundays too, but we try to do two now a week. And so this is like one of them where I just kind of talk of what's going on in the trending. And of course, Gypsy's been trending. I also have another subject that I am going to be talking about a little more too on the next one. And I'll tell you, I, I'm not going to say this is the last time that I'll talk about Gypsy. I did really try to talk to people back in the comments. It's hard to get to everybody, but if you noticed, I really tried too. And so I know that there's people that are frustrated. And so my comments are a place to say, hey, listen, I'm with you. If you have an idea of how we can help some of these people get notes, get help, get extra that are on these social medias, you know, that just aren't fortunate to drop their list and get any extra help. Guys, we are really in a bad spot right now financially in America. Everybody, if it's $5, something on lists. But I say be cautious. See, it's kind of like you say something and you want to do something good. But now because this happens, it's like you're pulling back. I get it, guys. I get it. But we can always brainstorm. And if we can think of anything, you don't ever have to tell anybody you do anything for anybody. I don't, you know. There's many times I stop and go fund me's and I give something, right? And, uh, and I know a lot of other people do. 
and you just don't talk about it. It's just something you do, right? So, if y'all are doing that, it's so kind. Because, man, it touched my heart when I seen the reaction, what people were doing. And, like, wow. <laughs> wow. So, guys, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for giving me a platform where a lot of y'all understand. I appreciate all the new subscribers. I hope that you continue to enjoy my search true crime, crime and conclusion shows as well. I will have another one of those dropping this week. So that is weekly. I have been, I do those weekly. So we have these and then we have the search. Thank you for your support. And you know what? I think there's a gender reveal already. I'm going to take it over to Nina for that one. Good night, everybody.